Dang, I'm shaking. Greeting YouTubians and YouTubulators and YouTubulons. Joe Palco, where I'm coming for you. And here's what I've been doing today. Nothing up my sleeve. Presto! Yay! Brakes! New goodies, except for the shoes. The shoes look thicker and nicer and better than the ones I bought. So, we put them back on. Now. Woohoo! A little bit of dirt won't hurt. I've uh, been cleaning up in here and putting some high temp paint on it and probably going to take it all back off again and do the frame some more. Uh, evidently when I was puny, I crawled under there and painted everything I could see with that red uh, paint after I had slathered on a bunch of rust stuff. And uh, don't never do stuff when you don't feel good because you won't do a good job. And you have to leak your calf over, which is going to be me. Got to do it all over again. So anyway, I got the other side done too. I'll cram these back on there and beat them with a tool and tighten them up with my special spanner. And uh, they'll be good to go till I get ready to hang some master cylinders and brake cylinders and bleed the fire out of it. Mm. Okay. That's it. Uh, swept a little bit in here and took Wilma for a ride. Poor Sarah the Jeans lost a bunch of her hair because she got out in the cuckleberries, didn't ya? She was all matted up. She couldn't see out her eyes. She could just barely breathe. She was all tied up with them cuckleberries. Her tail still got it. But anyway, we'll bring Wilma in here and call it a day. Ugh, I'm tuckered. Still not got my strength back. I still smell it's strong, but anyway. Here is a what's a who's it. Y'all need to find out what this is. And guess, I guess, but this is, it began millenniums ago, a hundred zillion times ago, way before Billy Graham. And, it is a lovely piece of stone, mineral, stone, Space shuttle, mirror, whatever. And it didn't always look like this. It took man's ingenuity or man's manufacturing or whatever to make it look like that. And uh, some of y'all might figure this out. I hope you do because y'all are better, smarter than I am. Sheesh. But I'll give you a clue. Uh, 165 years ago, they used to call these clinkers. That may not be a good clue. But anyway, uh, I'll say anyway again. Here is a prostatine. This is shoved back and rusted to the shaft. Now I've tried lots of implements and things and soakings and beats and bangs and stuff and uh, I can't get it broke loose so far it's a good starter got a really good armature and everything but somebody's got a good idea I don't have a torch anymore I got rid of it when I couldn't uh, when I wasn't real stable I was falling all over the place and I didn't want to fall with a four foot torch in my hand so uh, I may have to take it to a torch. But anyway, if I had that knocked loose, I could put new bushings and brushes and stuff in them and have me an extra starter. And I don't know if you can see this, but when you pull the brushes out of a starter, you pull it up, pull the brush up, and then you wedge the spring up in the side of it. Like that. And that holds the brush out of your way so that you can cram your stuff in there and won't get in the way. And then once you uh, put that thing back together, you just push this forward. Wait, push that forward, and it snaps in place and the springs are right on top of it again. I don't know if you can see that. I'm looking at it, but I don't know if you're looking at it. But anyway, that's just something I've used, done for a 
hundred million years. Just pull that out and let the spring hang on to the side of it. That way you can put it in, build it the way you want to. So, uh, I think that's it. And speaking of horn buttons, I found this rascal. I know it's for a motorcycle, but it's gorgeous. And I've got her polished up a little bit. And let's go on to the Bozo steering wheel. And I may have to have one of you boys put it in there for me. I may could do it. I'll put it right in there. If they say, da 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 motorcycle, I'll say, da 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 up your, I mean, hey, whatever. So, uh, I've about talked out of everything I could do. I will uh, put Cheryl Jean in the air conditioned truck, because I love her. And I'll put Mel Wilma in here, because I love her. Close the doors, and we'll head home. <sighs> Life is good. And God is what makes it. Got that big pile of stuff I'm taking to the trash. And tuck the wheel off the old black truck. Going to go get some tires and stuff on it. Get it rolling where I can push it in the hole. And I think that's about it. While, the, while this camera didn't work, there was a green, real pretty dark green snake come through here. It was beautiful. It was about five feet long, and it was good and fat with mice. And it had a sharp head, so it wasn't a bad snake, so I just kicked it out of the way. And it jiggled its tail like it was a rattlesnake, but a lot of snakes do that to scare you. Uh, a fox snake will do that. But I've never seen a snake this color before. It looked like a black snake or a king snake, but it wasn't. Okay. Gee, I'm almost dirty today. Alright, y'all. I love you. And, uh, just be careful and holler at me if you need something or want something or just whatever. Because I'm here, more, or less, more than likely, well, most of us here. Bye-bye.